and welcome to today's lesson, Opposites and Zero Pairs. We'll start by looking at a number line. On our number line, we have the number 5, and we want to know what is the opposite of 5. If I count from 0, I can see that 5 is a distance of 5 away from 0. An opposite is going to be the same distance from 0, but in the other direction. So because I've went 5 away from 0, to the right, I'm going to go 5 away from 0 to the left. That will then end up at the answer negative 5. Let's look at a couple more examples. So if I have the number 2, I can clearly see that 2 is the distance of 2 away from 0. And this time that distance is to the right. So I'm going to want to go a distance of 2, but to the left. This is going to end up at negative 2. So we can say the opposite of 2 is negative 2. Next, let's look at a negative number. What is the opposite of negative 4? I'm still going to be counting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I can see negative 4 is a distance of 4 away from 0, but it's a distance of 4 away from 0 to the left, and I want to go the opposite direction to the right. So the opposite of negative 4 is right here at positive 4. You should have recognized a pattern is emerging. Right here, if I, my number starts as a positive, I'm going to do the opposite, which is negative. If my number starts as a negative, I'm going to do the opposite, which is positive. So my last question asks, what's the opposite of 1? Well, since I know that 1 is positive and it is 1 to the right, I'm going to go 1 to the left, which would be negative. So the opposite is negative 1. This brings us to our next section of the lesson, zero pairs. Here I have my key, and in my key I have a counter. A yellow counter is representing positive 1, and a red counter is representing negative 1. What happens if I combine these together? Well, remember we said in the last example that 1 and negative 1 were opposites. Notice that when we add them together, we end up with 0. The same is true for my counters. Because this yellow one represents positive 1 and this represents negative 1, when I combine them, I also get 0. This is an example of a 0 pair. And remember, in a 0 pair, we are going to be adding together a number and its opposite. Let's look at another example. Here I have three yellow counters and three red counters. So I essentially have positive 3 and negative 3. What I'm going to do for zero pairs here is group them by each set of zero. So here I have positive 1, negative 1 is zero. Same thing for my second set and my third. So what this really means is if I add together positive 3 and negative 3, I get zero. This is best describing a situation. For instance, if you were to earn $3, doing chores, and then you spend $3, you don't have any money left over. Situations can represent zero pairs as well. Let's wrap up. An opposite is the same distance from zero, but in the other direction. We can think of opposite numbers as opposite signs. Because it is not positive or negative, zero does not actually have an opposite. We learn that a zero pair is the sum of a number and its opposite. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click the red subscribe button so you'll always have access to this and other lessons. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.